Great, thank you. Hi, I'm the founder and CEO of KiteEdge, and uh, KiteEdge is a knowledge and analytics business. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, I was looking some stats up actually last night, and until 1900, human knowledge doubled approximately every century. By 1945, it was doubling every 25 years. By 82, doubling every 12 to 13 months. And now apparently human knowledge dou doubles every 12 hours. Um, so to some of the points uh, made earlier on. So no surprise that the business and intelligence market is, uh, is booming. Um, forecasts reach 147.19 billion by 2025. So we are trying to help people with that, 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 that quandary, which is if we take the exec at the bottom right here, uh, this person has access to a huge amount of information and it's very hard to, to work with it. It's her job to use over 55 passwords to log into many different sites, whether they're aggregators for news or Google content, it could be investment research, and extract that insight, the value from all that content. It's, and it's an insurmountable thing to do. Uh, she has typically a thousand emails a day, and her job is to, again, find the value from that. Now, we solve that problem, and we solve it by centralizing access to all that information. And by information, I mean anything with words. It doesn't matter whether it's free, whether it's premium, whether it's internal, whether it's external. Um, we put all access to it in a single place, uh, which is challenging. And then the job is how do you help that person, whether they're um, young, old, technical, non-technical, regardless of their job, extract the key bits, the insight from all that content. And this is a short video, which I'm hoping will start when I press next, that shows you how we do it. There we go. So we're using multiple different search technologies and we're using them in an unusual way. We're using them to have a dialogue with the user to help them express their intent. So if they're interested in the Fed, what do they mean by the Fed? Is it in relation to gold prices? Now, if they're technical, they can get hands-on, they can edit the query themselves. If they're non-technical, we use something called ontology, which is knowledge graphs. We use AI and machine learning. And we use traditional queries, not to uh, second guess the user's intent, but to actually work with them to help them better express it. And that will take them to the subsections of the, the documents that are most relevant regardless of what, where those documents have come from. And this is an important thing to do because we, we think Google does this, but Google's a, an advertising business and it's a popularity engine. And uh, if you're working in a professional context, your job is to find the most relevant content, not the most popular content, especially if you're working in certain sectors. So we're a bit different, which is not only do we provide access to all of the content, but we're doing so in a way where we index all of the, the, the words in the documents. Uh, we're not just relying on the tags that are applied by the end user to take you to, to the, that particular piece of content. And we do so using the best technologies out there rather than taking a bet on one particular technology. So this is an example of the ontology I was talking about just in one particular sector. This is fully... Um, uh, well, it covers everything anyone might be interested in. It was built with a, so a sovereign wealth uh, agency uh, a few years ago. It took two years. Uh, covers everything an asset manager might be interested in because that's where we're starting. These are just examples of some of the ways in which we provide the content to people, whether it's on email or customizable platforms. Now, we're starting with the asset management industry, uh, specifically active asset managers, for some particularly good reasons, which is that they're under a lot of pressure currently. So we've had the transfer of over $3 trillion worth of assets from active to passive strategies. There's a huge compression on the fees that these uh, guys can charge, uh, but also financial regulation. Um, and uh, there's a, something called MIFID II, I won't go into now, but which has come out of Europe. Now, if we look at asset managers, then traditionally they've worked with around 100 banks or brokers. But there's also subscriptions to many other types of content. Uh, the big guys in the space, the terminal services, are almost entirely focused on banking content, sell-side content. Because of this financial regulation that came out of Europe, we now have 17 marketplaces that took a bet that we'd move to a price per report market, which never materialized. And of course, the banks and brokers didn't want to share their content because they didn't want a third party involved with uh, price discovery and getting in the, in the way of their relationships at this particular time. So. Um, the way we're working, as I mentioned, creates this customizable search and knowledge layer, which is important because it means as well as us highlighting the key document subsections, we can actually build expert networks that represent the people that are using the platform. So as well as returning the individual parts of, of documents, we can also highlight people within the same organization that might be in a different office that the end user might not have heard of, but that could help them with the, the particular problem or, or the information they're trying to, to, to find out there. Now, we're well known within this industry, um, and therefore, as well as the usual ways of getting people interested in us, we also have extensive personal networks, wh which help. 
We have two paying clients so far and a very strong uh, pipeline of, of uh, people that would like to implement our, our, our product. Um, we're charging both at the desk level and also the enterprise level for this service. Um, and uh, it's not just relevant to asset managers, it's relevant to pretty much any professional in any enterprise, especially for specialist domain. It's a very strong senior management team. We've all built enterprise platforms in the past and we have a strong advisory board. So we're lucky enough to be um, uh, supported by Stanford University's Global Project Center. So both uh, Dane Rook and Ashby Monk have invested and also uh, are represented on the board. And Amar Rajani, just to point out there, he used to head research aggregation for Bloomberg. So he's a very useful person to, to help us with what we're doing. Three products we offer, a bit of consultancy for people who don't understand where they are currently, converting documents into machine readable files, the PDF piece, uh, we're using AI for that and nobody else can do this and also the search engine we discussed. Our ask is we're looking for, um, uh, to raise capital currently and we're also looking to add people to our beta steering group to, to test the software. Uh, so we're currently raising uh, one and a half million on a six million valuation. Happy to take any questions. Thank you. Um, I, I hate to sound like a broken record, but uh, <laughs> if you just, uh, you know, Great presentation. I really do think that you have in your presentation uh, everything that we'd probably be looking for. But the meat, two of the three major things that I'm looking for, uh, who, who are you and, you know, kind of what's the market came after your five minutes. So point of order, technically, I shouldn't <laughs> even be listening after that thing goes off. So, you know, I would just make that that point. Um, I, th I think with that, I'll, I'll give it over to you because I feel like you know a lot more about this type of um, stuff than I do. Yeah, I, I, um, I, I just, James, I, I want to start out by, I love the way you set it up, right? Uh, you know, when you did the, you know, because th this whole space, and, and, and again, very similar to the, the, the conversation with Bill earlier, right? Th this whole space about, uh, you know, analyzing and understanding and digesting the flood of information that's coming to us, right? Uh, and, and, I, uh, and again, what did you say? The, the amount of information, uh, it's what, 12 and a half hours, it doubles, right? Uh, I mean, it's incredible, right? Crazy and and yeah. it's, getting, it's getting harder and harder, right? I mean, uh, email sucks, right? I can't keep up with my email inbox, right? So we've, we've gone to Slack and other things to try to, and then quite honestly, my Slack channel now is overwhelming too. So I, I, again, we, we, need, we need this type of tool Tool to be able to digest information, summarize it so that we, you know, mere humans can consume. So, with that said, I, I love the way you set it up because it told a good story. Um, I, 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 I want to go way back. I'll, I'll date myself here, but uh, 20 years ago, uh, when I was at a Bank of America, we actually did a natural language search and we put it on every page of our website. By the way. And that's when I first learned about what the hell an ontology was and I uh, had a, a data scientist who kind of could build ontology models and figuring out why the hell they're necessary. Um, so one comment, you brought that, you brought that in and you labeled that in. 99% of us uh, oh, mere mortals out here have no clue what the hell an ontology is and why it's important. So when you bring that up, you need to figure out a, a nice succinct way to say why that's relevant. And, it, and again, it provides some structure. Right, um, and the example I used to give when we actually invested in a company, by the way, it sold to Siebel for about 600 million, so it did pretty well. It took eight years then, um, mm -hmm. was uh, uh, when we were having people ask a question on our, our site, what is an IRA? We didn't want to come back that it was a terrorist organization, right? We wanted to come back that it was a, a, an individual retirement account, exactly. and you need an ontology to be able to do that, right? So figure out some s s concise way to explain that. Um, so that's that's kind of the good stuff, right? And I and I loved uh, I, I loved the other phrase that you said: access to everything with words, right? That's a you know, so you're 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 consuming that, right? Your AI is consuming that, and, and it's and it's accessing that information. I also liked your uh, phrase. I'm I'm going to get to the things I didn't like in a second, but, <laughs> but I'll start with the good. Um, uh, you know, I, I love the phrase Google's a popularity contest, and it absolutely is. That's the way the analytics engine works, right? And that, that's what gives you the first probably 20 pages of content, right? So the real serious stuff that, that an analyst might want to get into, the, you know, Google's not a very good engine for that, right? So your, your phrase that you're, you're bringing back relevant content is, is great, and it's a good differentiator for why, why the hell do we need another search engine, right, uh, at this point in time. Um, the asset management focus, right? So that's where you're starting. 
And I, I, you know, one of the things I would have done, uh, you know, you talked about the three billion from active to passive, so they're under a lot of pressure. That's really good. But why are you starting with that asset management sector, right? And one way, one way to turn a good phrase on that is because that's where the money is, right? That's true. So, uh, you know, so why did you start there? And then the other thing is, okay, that's a nice and interesting market that is under a lot of pressure. But where are you going, right? Uh, and especially if this is an investor pitch, which it was, right? Is um, they they gotta they gotta know what the upside, right? I mean, they're looking for again 10x returns. They're looking for your company to be at least a, a billion dollar company, right? So how do you get there? Are you actually going to be able to do that in the asset management space alone? Maybe not. So what's the you know what, what are the next pl uh, markets that you want to go after? Um, and, and then you kind of ran out of time. So again, managing whatever time frame you're given, here it's five minutes, you, you, you got to understand that and uh, you got to get to the point that's important and the point that's important here is the slide that's still up on the board, right? The ask, yeah, I'm looking for uh, 1.5 million pounds. By the way, I know, you, I know you started in the UK. I'm from the UK originally myself, so I'm, I'm fond of, of seeing the pound up there, but you're in the US, if you're going for US investors, you need to make that dollars and make the appropriate, uh, uh, you know, uh, yeah, change. 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 Um, also, um, your two paying clients, right? Your business model. So you, and I know you were running out of time, but you, you, you kind of have a Bloomberg business model, right? Where you're paying for by the desk for the analysts, right? Uh, no, we're trying to do things a bit differently from that. So we're, but, but it is per head. Okay, because um, I saw I saw three thousand five hundred dollars per desk. Right. I, that's what I was able to glance down before the yeah. slide went away. <laughs> so, <laughs> but you you didn't have time. But again, that business model vitally important. Here's what we've done. Here's how the markets respond to that. I've got to, you, you've got two paying clients. Uh, another thing that you ought to talk about. Yes, you've got two paying clients. But and and Garth knows this because he's a, one of the best sales and business dev guys I know. Is what does your pipeline look like, right? So from an investor pitch, um, it's great that you've got two existing customers that are willing to pay, but what does that pipeline behind that look like? So a little bit of conversation about that. Um, and then the most important thing at a company at your stage, by the way, because I presume this is an A round that you're looking for here, or is it a seed? Mm, somewhere, late somewhere seed. between late seed, right, late seed, early A, whatever. Um, you know, the most important thing from an investor perspective is the team. So honestly, uh, and, and Bill, I, I meant to tell you that too, right? I'd love to see more in both of your things. I, I want to see that team slide much higher up in the, in, the, in the deck because the reality is here, what I'm really going to, what any investor is really investing in you guys is team, team, and team, right? First. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Uh, we have any questions from the audience? We were, at least we're trying to figure out what on hold. My apologies. All right. With that, thank, thank you. you. Cheers.